join Coach Sullivan here again with NJS Coaching Football. To my subscribers, I thank you. And to non-subscribers, I'm hoping to tease you into pushing that button. Completed my 38th year coaching football as a defensive coordinator. And over that span, I've been an offensive coordinator, special teams coordinator, a longtime head coach, and all of this at both the collegiate and high school levels. Today, in this presentation, I'd like to talk to you about our 3-4 match quarters variation that we call Gray 3 versus Virginia. Okay, so I'm going to go over key terms relative to what Virginia means, but then bring it all to life over here in the diagram, including I'll explain what nine-on-nine -nine football means. Okay, and we're not in Nebraska, as they say. All right, actually, that's eight-man football. Sorry. <clears throat> so over here, first term, surface. For us, surface means from tackle to tackle, and in the case of a tight end, the tight end's a part of the surface. So all these defenders over here, that's their surface, okay? Guard, tackle, tight end. It gives, tells them whether it's run, pass, or direction. Defenders over here, it's guard and tackle because there's no tight end. That tells them run, pass, direction, and those surfaces the center, okay? So I'm going to say it every time most likely, but if I don't, everything begins with surface. And even the... Attached outside linebacker who's focused on the tight end. He's going to hear pass because the other guys who are reading the surface know it's pat. Okay, follow me. Second term here, read number two. He tells you what to do. Read number two tells you what to do. It's a fact, but it also rhymes and it helps it stick. So in this route concept, Virginia, number two is going vertical. Okay. So number three, this is a go concept. So our two-man route concepts, one and two, okay, they're both going. We just call it a go concept, okay? Anything over 10 is a vertical. So then you get into different kinds of verticals. When they're staying straight, we just call it a go. It's the go concept, baby, right? Go! So the term number four here, detached outside linebacker. In this case over here, he's the dime. He detaches when two's detached. Not subscribers, push that button. All right. Versus uh, two, go, two on a go. And in this case, Virginia, they're both on a go. He will expand, balance, running back two to crosser. Running back, so I'll show you all that. Okay. The attached linebacker, number five, is on a tight end. That's attached. So all he does is he adds knockback, because that's always first, <clears throat> knockback, and then expand, balance, running back to crosser, okay? So that's why I show you this versus an 11 formation, so I can show you an attached linebacker as well as a detached linebacker. Their assignments are the same, but the technique's a little bit different, okay? So number six, and here's the variation in our quarters, match quarters. Both corners, field and boundary, I have number one man. I'm going to show it to you in off, but we also will play it in press. Okay, and this is where our alignment as our disguise kicks in. So non-subscribers, push that button. Okay, and I'll show you how we do that when I get to the diagram part of the presentation. So our safety is number seven, free and whip. Mott is man over ten on number two. Man, man over 10 or Mott on number two. So, again, I'll show you all that momentarily. And then last but not least, the inside linebackers, is the, their technique and rules are the exact same as our base match quarters, gray four. Nothing changes. So surface to two, running back two, or mirror the cue. Running back two or mirror the cue since we know that number two is going to be going on a go, vertical. Okay? So over here, I'm going to draw numbers one and two in red, the running back in red, and then everybody on defense in black, okay? So we'll get the, the uh, numbers one and two route concept out of the way. Now, please bear in mind, right, this is not drawn to scale. Everything's wicked condensed, so it's not the way it would be. He's not going to be that most likely middle of the field. He's not going to be lined up that close to the sideline. So there's a go. We'll say he outside releases. There's a go. There's a go. And there's a go. I mean, receivers are taught to spacing, spread the field, all that stuff. 
that's not bad given the con confines of my board space. <laughs> okay. I'm sure receiving coaches and co offensive coaches would beg to differ, but it's what I got. Okay. So there is Virginia, right? Four verticals. Everybody's on a go. And before I go any further, this is not a split coverage. These two sides operate independently of each other, but they're not a split coverage. It's one coverage, okay, because you could get Virginia over here and say Dakota double slant over here. But I'm just showing it to you on both sides so you can see a detached and an attached outside linebacker, as previously noted. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start off with the corners, okay, because this brings in the 909 football. When we introduced this coverage in, in spring preseason, right, we don't even have the corners up there. That's the 909 football because the corner's number one man. Okay? So that's why here inside my geometric shape, supposed to be a triangle, not very good. We have outside, inside, linebacker, and safety on both sides, inside, outside, safety. They're reading number two. There are three reading number two, hence gray three. Gray is our quarters. When we tag a number onto it, it's match quarters. There you go, non-subscribers. Now push the button. you got access to everything. Okay, so let me talk to you about the corners now. Okay, they line up outside. Again, our alignments are disguised. They're, the hips are turned in. The whole, everything's the same. On the snap... This is the off now, okay? This is the off technique. On the snap, they stem inside, so they have inside leverage. Stem for inside leverage, and then it's all about number one. He's got number one. He plays all the man techniques, everything. Boom, done. So I'm not planning on getting into all those man techniques right now, okay? But they did... Re quickly read surface. They show the surface, as I mentioned. Showed pass. So there are, as they're stemming, they're reading surface in case they're needed to be available on a run. And then it's, they see it's passed. Boom, now their world becomes number one receiver on both sides. Okay, so now to emphasize the 909 football part. Say goodbye to the corners. Say goodbye to number one. Okay, they're not there. Now we got our 909 football. So here's how, and eventually I'm going to get to why we would do this. Call it. Okay, as a change up variation, but it's, see, it's still pattern matching, match quarters. Okay, so now, <clears throat> attached. Outside linebacker first. Right? He's in a two-point stance. His hands are locked and ready. Right, He's got him in the holsters. He's not going to necessarily see the ball. If he can, the corner of his eye, awesome, but probably not. On any type of movement from that tight end, doof, shooting the hands, getting a fistful of tight end. Every time, doof, that's the knockback. He's going to hear pass, and if his hips are square, he's going to stay held, holding on to that tight end. But that tight end's taught how to release and, and escape moves to get off the ball, right? Create some separation. So we just tell our outside attached outside linebacker, okay, as soon as your hips turn, you got to let them go. Okay? So <laughs> hips turn. He's reading two, right? He's part of the triangle. Two is vertical. Now, that's where he's going to expand. One's not there. And even if he was, he's not going to worry about it because the corner's got him. He's expanding in case the running back is coming out to him. So that's what the expand, no running back out to him. Balance means balance up and now get your rise. The crosser is coming from the other side of the formation. Okay, and that's what that means. So over here, the detached, boom, surface, ice to two as he's expanding, two's gone. He comes to balance. Same thing, running back. If he's not coming out to him, flare, flat route, right? Flare, flat route, balance up. He's looking for a crossing route from this side. 
So that takes care of our two outside linebackers. Again, the only difference, doosh, not back versus a tight end. Okay? So now the safeties, zit, 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 surface, pass, eyes to two, two's vertical. There again, Mott, man over 10, which means they're going to be on top, the upfield shoulder. They're going to be dominant leverage. And now if that were to break off in any direction, man over 10 means he's yours. So if it became a dig, a corner, a post, a really deep curl, or exceptionally deep out, a comeback from number two, which isn't all that likely. But if it happens, the point is, he's on top of it. Same thing over here. Surface, zit, pedal, man over 10. That's how we cover it. That's the quarters. That's the map, map pattern match. Okay? It's all built in. All right? So that's how we take care of Virginia out of grade three. Ones are out. Locked down by the two corners playing man technique versus the vertical. So they, I'll give you this. They, they'll be in trail. Slightly hips behind not in phase slightly behind because it's a vertical and they have no help over the top because two's vertical that's why okay so now last and certainly not least our inside linebacker surface so they pivot to two two's gone we got to pivot back so now what's the running back doing we'll say the running backs Inserting himself. He's part of the protection. This is a six-man protection. So built into the gray three scheme, our outside linebacker is expanding. So if there's a, uh, a flat route or a flare up by the running back, they're in outside position to play it. Okay? If the running back were to run an inside route, they're in out inside position to play. It's, it's, it's a combo between the inside and outside linebackers on the running back. Yeah. When two is vertical, and in this case, they're both vertical one and two, the outside and inside linebackers are comboing the running back. Boom, done. It's automatic. You don't have to do any new teaching here. So since he's in a six-man protection, okay, Running back came to him, right? Running back two. He is now what we call a key rush. Remember, we never spot drop non-subscribers. So his keys in the protection, he's going to blitz the open gap. Key rushes add to it. So now you got a four-man rush. We let the offensive scheme dictate that for us. That's why I don't spot drop. We don't race them out there and <laughs> balance. For what? We can add a four-man rush to it now. They've got six in protection. We got four on the rush because that's what they told us to do. So even if – I'll do it in black, sorry. Even if the running back did this, initially the inside linebacker will do it. He'll see same color out there, and then he'll become – he'll add to the rush. I want him to do that just in case there's a crossing route coming. Remember, we don't know it's going to be Virginia, but so if there's a crossing route coming, that will eat up the outside backer. So he will initially go chase the, the flare route or the flat route. He sees same color out there. He'll stop and then add to the rush, okay? Over here, running back is away. Running back two or mirror the cue. So he gets – Roughly over wherever the quarterback is, and now he's a mirror. Well, that's a spy. Some people call it a spy. We say just mirror the cue, which tells him get in the front. Have him, the quarterback looking at you. And then that front hand comes off. Maybe you get your hands up, knock the ball down. But that gives us five with the three down linemen rushing, right? Five on the quarterback because it's six-man protection. Okay. So as I said at the beginning to my subscribers, I thank you to non-subscribers. I hope I've teased you into pushing that button. To everyone, please reach out to me, Coach MJ Sullivan at gmail.com for any questions at all. It's starting to happen. I'm learning more. I know people on the other side of the screen are learning more. And so I'd like to thank YouTube for giving us this platform to use. So coaches, let's make the most of it.